Hand grip strength. You would be amazed what it can tell us about someone's underlying health. It can be used as a general proxy for someone's muscle mass and muscle strength. And in this video, I will review how it can help predict the risk of someone's mortality in someone who's older. Hi, I'm Dr. Edmund Kleeman. I'm an orthopedic surgeon here in New York City. I specialize in sports medicine and arthroscopic surgery. We know that low muscle mass and muscle weakness are associated with increased risk of mortality, which is death. For example, one study of about 4,000 older adults with an average age of 70, and they were followed for about 14 years. And what they found were that low muscle mass was associated with a 30% increased risk of all-cause mortality. That means dying for any reason. And low muscle mass was associated with a 60% increased risk of death from cardiovascular disease reasons. Now, a very simple way to measure strength is by measuring hand grip strength. And it's very simple to do. Someone just takes a specific device, they squeeze it a few times, you get an average, and there you know exactly what is their strength. And that can be used as a proxy for the general strength. And studies have shown that it is just as good of a predictor of the risks of mortality as measuring leg strength or other muscles in the body. For example, there was a large meta-analysis of almost 2 million people. And in women, they found that having a higher level of hand grip strength was associated with a 40% reduced risk of all cause mortality compared to those with low muscle strength. And in men, it was a 30% reduced risk. Hand grip strength can be used across a range of ages to give us this information about risk of mortality. For example, there was a study, almost 5,000 people that was done in Japan, and they looked at different age groups. So for example, men between the ages of 35 and 55, those who had a higher grip strength had about a 50% lower risk of all-cause mortality compared to those who were the weakest hand grip strength. As we move up, those between 55 and 65, their risk was reduced by 30%. And moving up another notch, those between the ages of 65 and 75, their risk of death was reduced by 30% in those with the highest hand grip strength. So overall, we see that hand grip strength is a very effective tool that we can use to assess the risk of early mortality across different age groups. Now the rate or how quickly someone loses their strength as they're getting older, and again, assessed simply by hand grip strength, shows us that those who have a faster rate of deceleration of their strength are at higher risk for mortality. And some studies show that those with the quickest loss of strength have over 70% greater risk of mortality compared to those who lose their strength slowly. So are there specific numbers, cutoff points for men and women that can help assess that risk? Now it's a little tricky because different people of different sizes and may have different strength. So typically a change in strength over time would be a very good indicator, but there are certain cutoff points. So for example, 22 kilograms of strength for men and 14 kilograms for women. And so there is a study of over 2000 people and they found that those who had men who had less than 22 kilograms of strength, about 40% of those men were no longer alive five years later. And for women, also about 40% of those who had strength less than 14 kilograms were also no longer alive five years later. And again, this is in older people. So if you watch some of my other videos, you know that doing exercise can improve muscle strength and therefore will also be seen by improving hand grip strength. However, the intensity of the exercise is important. Studies seem to indicate that higher intensity exercise is more likely to be associated with improving hand grip strength. For example, one study found that one hour of high intensity strength can improve hand grip strength by almost 20%. And that's critical because studies show that even that amount can be significant for reducing the risk of mortality by up to about 10%. So let's wrap up this video and go over a few key points. Number one, muscle weakness and low muscle mass are risk factors for increased mortality. Number two, hand grip strength is a good proxy for us to assess overall body strength. Number three, hand grip strength is a good tool to help us assess the risk of early mortality. Number four, these associations of risk of mortality and hand grip strength seem to hold true throughout different decades of life. 
And number five, of course, exercise can improve strength and hand grip strength and is associated with a lower risk of mortality. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you found it helpful. If you did, please click the like button below and subscribe. I look forward to seeing you in my next video or in my office.